Hi guys, it's Janelle from Paper Milkshake and welcome back to my channel. I'm on here to show you a very quick video of a pocket letter that I created for my beautiful friend Andrea Bethke who's a designer and founder of the Fairy Tale Club. Now you guys know I've been raving about the Fairy Tale Club. Yummy marshmallow. <laughs> you enjoying it? It's just a little treat. <laughs> um, you guys know I've been raving about um, the fairy tale club. I absolutely love Andrea's products. Now, Andrea um, got in touch with me, and I purchased a whole bunch of collections from the fairy tale club. Um, but she also sent me um, the entire Together Apart collection, which is her brand new release. She sent me all these yummy free products from that collection for me to play with. Yeah, yummy marshmallow. <laughs> um, which she sent to me for free to play with and I'm just so grateful and Andrea also sent me a mini pocket letter that she made and I just wanted to use the Together Apart collection to make her a pocket letter in return and I really hope I did that collection some justice here because I just want to put a smile on her face and to thank her so kindly for sending me all those products. Now, um, I haven't yet filled in the back. Um, I don't usually fill in the back of my pocket letters because I want them to stay quite flat now i do want them to be dimensional but i don't like them bulging too much so i've kept this one really flat without filling in the backs but i have laid it up on the front so i hope that makes sense um everything you see here with maybe exception to the dangly charms and that heart and those stars everything else is from um, Andrea's collection. I may have worked a few things not from Together Apart, but most of the things you see here are from the Fairy Tale Club. So I will take you through each of the pockets one by one. This one says stuck inside, but it's been struck out and it says safe inside. And the um, Together Apart collection comes with these beautiful like acrylic hearts and they're so dimensional and I think they're so pretty. They're the perfect size for the pro for my project so I might have to buy a few more packets of those. Then she had um, one of the 12 by 12 papers down the bottom had a strip that said brave and it just repeated itself so I cut that strip off. I've trimmed it up into four pieces and I've just sort of laid it onto that um, cardstock there. Now all the cardstock I made from 12 by 12 pattern papers from Together Apart which I've stitched with some fluoro pink stitching all around just to give it some extra um, texture and I thought that was really really pretty. This one says I'm so glad you're here and it just you know her ephemera are really good quality and they feel very luxurious and I've been so pleased with the quality of all her products so really do check it out guys. Now with the pattern paper, I've got a cross pattern there. I've got this beautiful blue dotty one and I've got like a confetti, not confetti, yeah. sprinkles black and white one there. Girls, go back. Yeah. Please go back to the couch to watch TV. Yeah. <laughs> Clara, go back to the couch, please. Okay. All the way back. Just added some puffy hearts there and kept that panel pretty simple. Then this girl is just unbelievable. She's so pretty and she's got her little face mask on, staying safe. The outdoor and indoor look are from a cut apart as well, but I've just rounded the corners to um, make them look like playing cards because I thought that was really, really cute. And then she's an ephemera piece that I've just popped out. Yeah. I really like that sort of collection right there. Then I have a little shaker pocket in the middle with some yummy pink sequins mixes, including some um, fake pink sprinkles, like cake sprinkles. And I added some jemmies, some heart sequins, star sequins, lots of pretty sequins there. Then this one, you can't really see it, but it's got some beautiful pink foiling. And that's part of the Together Apart. There's, there's two ephemera packs. You can get one with lots of pretty sort of shapes. And then one that's just a whole bunch of like words and statements and Polaroids and they're foiled and they're just so pretty. And I wanted to add my signature pink chunky glitter strip down the bottom there just to, I don't know, make it pop. Love the simpleness of this one here as well. I've got a little heart tag. I've popped an all heart resin heart because you know how much I love those. And put the little cherries on top there. Down here, we've got two of the same paper from Together Apart. Um, you don't have to use a different 
pattern paper um, with pocket letters. I generally only select two or three that I love and I repeat it. And um, yeah, I think that sometimes when you use too many different pattern papers on a pocket letter, it can make it look too cluttered. So just stick with two or three and see how you go. That beautiful love ephemera. We've got the cute little doggy there. She's so cute. I absolutely love that puppy. Then I stuck a rainbow on there and that beautiful one that says courage. It is yet another sequin shaker here, but I've used a different sequins mix. Maybe I'll turn it upside down. There you go. This one I mixed it out from scratch as well and just reached into my Cartwright um, sequins and made a little mix that I thought went really well with together apart. So the colors coordinate really well together. Then down the side, all I did was add, added my favorite holographic um, washi tape and then I sewed down some beautiful pink sequins that my beautiful friend Stephanie Garcia sent me as just a little bit of trim that she tied onto one of her tag flips so I pulled the that trim off and just sewed it down because I thought it looked really pretty on this pocket lid and I love reusing packaging like that this is a Paige Evans um, pom pom what do you call it pom pom tassel and I think it's from the bloom collection and I just thought the colors also looked really like worked really well together with together apart and then I um, pulled apart a keychain that I bought from Daiso which is this gorgeous like pink marbled unicorn it says <laughs> except it says creamy beast so I don't know what creamy beast means but I just thought the unicorn gave it a really whimsical feel to the pocket letter plus a little eyelet there so that's it guys that's the pocket letter that I made for my friend Andrea I really hope she likes it and I can't wait to send this off in the post to her along with some goodies thank you Andrea for sending me these beautiful products to play with I love how this turned out I have not been able to put down my fairy tale club products so thank you all for watching and your ongoing support and I will see you all in my next video bye guys